Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are now officially in the Tomb of the Eaters release, which comes with a lot of new features, including a brand spanking new user interface that I'm excited to show everyone. Um, and last time we played, which was not too long ago, we played as a berserker, a true kin berserker. And I thought this time we would try to play... We only got so far. Uh, it was fun, but as soon as we got the berserker skill... Um, I learned something new about the game, and even though I chopped off the Slumberling's feet, two of its hind feet, it still was able to charge us. I didn't think that would be able to happen, um, and we died. This time, um, I'd like to play Berserker again, but this time instead of True Kin, we're gonna do a Mutant. Um, that might be a little harder at first. We get, um, we're gonna have less starting attributes, um, and we won't have the... Uh, the cybernetic thing that we start with, which last time we chose night vision. But we're going to start with mutations, and we'll get more mutations as we go. We are still going to want to put as many points as possible into strength. But now, the rest of our points are going to be much lower. I think, however, last time we played, I think Ego... I, I think I put too much stock into Ego. I don't think it's going to be that important for us. We still will want intelligence for the skill points. Um, but agility and toughness are going to be more important for us. Willpower, um, willpower and intelligence are still important. How, is, how do I feel about this? Yeah, maybe like this. Because when intelligence and willpower go up one each, um, when we level up, they will get to zero. And I think that's okay. Agility and toughness is standard. Strength being most important. Do I feel okay about that? Do I lower Ego more? If I do... Eh, no, I think we're good here. I, I think this is fine. Let's choose our mutations. Now, Morphotypes. Um, I think we might do... Here's what I think we might do. Uh, we only want... I think we only want physical mutations. Last time we did a Psychic Warrior kind of thing. Or just a Psychic. And uh, we did just... Um, mental mutations. But I think if we do Chimera, and we can put a few points into Unstable Genome, which means we get to choose basically for three mutation points at random times as we, when we level up, we get to choose mutations that are worth more than three points. Um, and I think that'll be good. And that we can still get Night Vision, which is going to be really nice. And something else. Maybe Thick Fur? Which just gives us some nice resistances. Some base resistances. No no negatives. I think that'll be good. Um, photosynthetic skin is cool. Uh, no, I think we want night vision. I think this is good. I think we're going to do three unstable genomes. Thick fur and night vision. Yeah. Uh, and we don't get to pick, like, a true kin of, like, heritage or whatever it's called. But we are going straight for Berserker. And the Marauder background, the calling, I should say, gives us additional strength, dismember, charge, and butchery to start. Uh, which are all things that we would have wanted anyway. So this is an even better starting position than the true kin start gave us. Than the, uh, wheel, uh, colony that we were in before. So we're going to do that. Choose a starting location. Now, last time we started in the hills, which gives butchering. It teaches The village teaches butchering. We start with butchering, however. So this time, maybe we start with something else. Um, maybe since we have butchering, we go for harvestry and start in the salt marsh. Um, yeah, I think I kind of like that. And we can get all the things and maybe start cooking some stuff. So random village in the salt marsh. Random name, as we like to do. And oh boy, oh boy, you're going to see the new interface. You've probably seen it already. This has been out for like a week or two now. Um, but it's... I, I did play... I did look at it a bit. At first, I was like... You know, anything new, it's like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this, but... Um, well, we'll talk about it a bit. On the 29th of Ulu'ut, you arrive at the village of Shigatara. On the horizon, cuts jungles, strangle chrome steeples, and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. Okay, so... Uh, you may already notice it looks very different, right? And this, these changes I do like. Before, 
you know, everything looked a little kind of cluttered up here, and it was hard to see. Now it's very easy to see our hit points um, and our experience. Um, it's a lot less jarring to look at. Like, the colors are not as, like, difficult. Um, I am playing in a high resolution, in 1440, as I usually do. But look at this. Like, this over here is so much nicer. The message screen, so much nicer over here. Um, and our abilities are down here. They used to show up up here. Now they show up down here. Um... They're not obtrusive at all, uh, and I like it. One thing that's going to take a little getting used to is when we attack things. Oh, watch this also. If I get in the water over here, first of all, I start blinking blue. And then I start leaving this trail of water behind, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're, our name is Tagare. Tagare? Yeah, Tagare. That's what I'm going with. Um, and then we have, uh, if we look around, we have drams of dilute salt we just drip you drip things now um so that's pretty cool um but it is a little distracting having all these things like blink blue and stuff like that if they're wet um and when you attack things it's much easier at first i was like i don't like this it shows like an animation and there are new sounds when you attack things we'll get to that soon um and at first i was like i don't know if i like this but it just makes it so much easier to tell what's going on that it's really hard to complain. Like, even if the UI is a little distracting, it's definitely, like, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. A stone steel, glyphs inscribed uh, about the village, Shigatara. At the gospel of spreading, the gospel of snarling spread, folks flocked to the village of Shigatara. Got a little information about that. And since the first foul skin jubilee, the villagers of Shigatara have merrily feasted on spreading filet. Cool. Um, are you someone? You're the warden. We'll do the water ritual with you. And do you have any work for me? No. Uh, reputation. Look at this. It's right on the side here. Reputation uh, with wardens increased. Shigatara increased. Antelopes like us less. That's okay. A lot of snap jaws in this village. Got to make sure we don't make snap jaws as a whole angry with us like not wear snapjaw faces uh what speaking of what do we have we start with a battle axe and that's we don't start with a whole lot we have natural fur on our body and we're wearing furs not a whole lot of equipment as true kin you start with a lot more equipment as a mutant you do not start with much um is this graffiti here sure is not too hot not too cold not too indeterminate <laughs> uh any oh a painted throne this is about the sultan reshef um in 3 br rebecca betrayed reshef by stealing the mark of death from the gate to the tomb of the eaters in punishment reshef excommunicated her from the sultanate cool and this one that is not painted we will eat the spreading fillet it gives us oh whenever we use a salve uh, or uber nostrum injector we get 37 percent max hit points for an hour Nice. And who might you be? You're just a hunter. Uh, we need to speak with Kamushrumut or Elder Fair. Uh, here's the Elder. All right. Water ritual? Uh, Putus Templar actually increased. A reputation with Putus Templar. Arachnids like us less. The Consortium of Phyta likes us less. But Putus Templar, I think they're a pretty, like, evil... They're, like, you start off, I guess, with negative 700. So, that's interesting. Uh, I would like to learn Harvestry from you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, sure. Teach us that recipe, too. Why not? And do you have work that needs doing? You do. We will find the Sacred Stasis Grenade Mark III. Uh, you want us to travel to Alanip. To help them with farm work, I need it. For farm work? Okay. Uh, cool. That's quest number one. And now we need to find the other person, the, the other quest giver in this town. And we'll be ready to go. Uh, is it you? No, you're just a brute. Here's our... Uh, we don't have anything to trade, but here's Kankook. Kankook, the Dromad merchant. Uh, anything here have imagery on it? No. 
Okay. Oh, and we want to talk with the um, zealot here. And we will get the six day stilt quest. That'll give us some experience later. Okay. Uh, other quest giver might be over here. Maybe in this building. Aha! Oh, that's a tinker, right? Yeah, you're just the tinker. Okay. Um, an arc sconce artifact. See, this guy's just wet, but it, he looks like he's special. Okay, we've explored everywhere. Uh, so, I think I'm just having trouble identifying the other quest giver. Maybe it's this yellow person. Yellow snapshot. Yes, it is. Moon and sun, wisdom and will. Only the savior can know the dish known as spreading filet. We, we know that dish. I'm looking for work. Traveler, my stratagem has nearly come to fruition. There is but one more step. I need someone to go to the lair of Kushwarumet, legendary snapshot warrior. That name looks very similar to your name. I got confused for a second. And cook at the angelic clay oven there. No, I cannot tell you why. Will you? I will compensate you. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. Okay. We have all the quests. We're going to leave here. We start off all the way down at the south. Um, now, I do like to go to Red Rock to get some immediate experience. These salt marshes can be dangerous. Do I do that? Yeah, I think we do that. All right, we'll investigate these ruins. It's very easy to die when you're level one, no matter what your start is. Um, okay. Look around here. Be careful. We don't really want to face anything tougher than a snap jaw. We might find some cool books here, though. Definitely want to be careful. Oh, yeah, we can harvest, can't we? That's nice. Uh, so what is this? A wet hookah. I took a puff. Um, can I get it? All right, took it. Here's a book. Huge cysts which leak a vial. Ugh. You can read this if you feel like it. We'll take that. All right, those, that was the only book here. Oh, lots more bookshelves over here. Uh, no. Really, no books? All right. Looked like there were books. Joined Strengths Sacked the Freehold. Again, if you want to do your thing where you pause and read it, you can, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. Moisture is deposited on it. Yes. These books are all great. I encourage you to take the time to read them, but it's a lot of words. <laughs> uh, two more books. All controlled by gravitation. This is great. Uh, these are going to be worth a lot of experience when we go to the Six Day Stilt. And Kirkayan called the Sky Bear Who's. Oh, called, called the Sky Bear Who's. Who's is the name of the Sky Bear, I presume. All right. And we have high strength to start, so carrying capacity isn't a big deal. A witchwood tree. Can we harvest that witchwood tree? Oh, yeah, we did. We got the bark. Nice. Harvestry. Um, do I want to look inside here? How, how brave do we want to be? Uh, that's graffiti. We are a small transparent tube. Okay. We're super weak. Maybe there aren't any enemies here, but... You know what? I'm scared. There might be turrets. We could try to come back here later, but let's leave. Continue to Red Rock, where we know the enemies will be okay for level one characters. We'll find a downstair. Somewhere. Aha. Good. And we have night vision, which will be coming very handy down here. Um, 
Yes, wait, there we go. Let's go up, bring you out. Okay, see, so you saw that? Hopefully that wasn't too loud. I think my volume of settings might be a little off or compared with what I hear to what you hear. We got bloody, we did not get hit. We got 10 XP. Yeah, it's so nice to see that up here. Um, oh, we are hungry, we should eat. Uh, but you, you, there was that noise. There was, it showed how much damage we did on the screen, not just in the messages. Uh, yeah, let's make a camp. Are there are hostiles nearby? Are there? Are there? Says there are hostiles nearby. Um... Can I make camp now? Okay, good. All right. Uh, I guess we can, no, extinguish that. Because we have night vision. Who needs a campfire? All right. Critical hit. Who got the critical hit there? It's still a little confusing. Um... We did, I think. Yeah, come at us. Yeah. So, it's nice. Oh, a weird artifact. Um, let's take that. Let's not try to identify it. Bark armor. Uh, do we want to use that? Maybe. I'm just going to take everything for now. Furs are 2 and negative 1. Bark armor is also 2 and negative 1. So, I guess we keep the furs. Six of one, half a dozen. Come at me. Uh, set of leather armor. I think we're going to want to equip that immediately. It gives us, uh, at the, the expense of one more evasion point, another armor point, which is just generally better. Oh, ouch. Uh, yeah, we're fine. 12 hit points left. Oh, I don't like that warrior, though. Uh, let's heal up. Okay. Yeah, I'm nervous about the warrior before we're level two. Let's try to stay away. Um, oh, I think he hit his friend. You see that? We, uh, that was it. Showed that like diamond on us. I think he tried to hit us, and our armor deflected it. So it shows us right there on the UI and with the sound, what's going on. Really nice. Um, I think we can just equip that, right? Yeah, on our back. Good. So we have more armor now. Very good. Uh, another artifact. Uh, let's take a look at the statue. Shrine to Miladuk the Third, the Shrewd Shade. In 4406... Miladuk the Third, shrewd shade, Bigawar's mate, died of natural causes at 102 years old. Got a little more information there. There was a hunter in here, right? Nice. Nice. Look at our armor deflect. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll take this stuff. We have 390 pounds of capacity. There you are. Boom. All right, we are over halfway to level two. And we, ooh, a leather cap. Look, you can clean stuff now. They added some more user interface like um, options uh, when you interact with equipment. So now you can clean, but this would be cleaning with our water. Uh, you can also just use salt water, I think, to clean. Right now, we're just gonna equip this on our head. Ooh, an engraved staff. Uh, another thing about Miladuk the Third, uh, at a remote yurt, Miladuk the Third met with a group of nomads and commissioned an artifact that evoked the presence of a shrewd quill. He named it Quillicus. Cool. Take that. Uh, we will equip the short bow as a missile weapon. Ooh, someone's attacking over there. We are at full health. Uh, there's an axe. Uh, are you hostile? No, you're neutral. Okay. Um, ooh, a null worm skull. I will take that. And I guess I'll equip the hand axe in the left hand. Yeah, we don't need that torch. Um, 
at all, so. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, we are dual wielding now. I mean, I could fight this guy. He is injured, but um, I don't think we want to risk it. We're still level one. Even though we have decent armor now. Oh, right. Um, this leather cap. I think we're going to instead put on the Nullworm skull. It's just better. It also gives us ego. This guy. I'm going to stay away from him for the time being. Till we can become level two. Um, buckler, we can go ahead and equip that. And I think we have empty water skin, so we can collect this liquid in our water skin. The sap. And look, we see how we're blinking yellow? We're sappy. I guess it's better than just being yellow. Um, I guess I'll fire you. Nice! That was a short bow. You can tell things are kind of being cut off here. Oh, there we go. You can scroll up. Oh, look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and more... Oh, that's sugary salt. That's sap mixed with dilute... Or mixed with uh, brackish water, I guess. Um, let's run away from you. Let's get to here. We have... Oh, we have Dismember. That's right. We start with Dismember and Charge. All right. Let's wait a tick, then Charge you. You did hurt us. Let's Dismember you? We we did Dismember you. It said we Dismembered you. Um, We chopped off its left hand. How come it doesn't say that here? Oh, she's missing her left hand. So she can't use her missile weapon. Okay. We're down to 11 hit points. Nice. Okay. Uh, nine hit points left. You're not doing a lot of damage to us. You're injured. All right, we're down to half our hit points. Do I keep attacking? Um, oh, we're dazed? Can we... Let's run back. Uh, we could charge now. Let's, let's charge. Oh, no, not quite. We could sprint away and charge. All right, we have another hit point... Um, we can't dismember for 12 more turns. We can spend 12 turns just walking back to the stairs. Uh, one more turn. You know what? Let's go. <sighs> can I charge yet? No. All right, we'll wait. We'll dismember. I just remembered again. He is handless. Or she. Uh, yeah, she's handless. So I feel a little more confident now. No hands. Well, you did just do some damage to us. Ooh. Wow. I, I was really overconfident because they didn't have hands, but I'm pretty sure they just bit us to death. Well, obviously I should have played that more carefully. I got... I keep getting overconfident after we chop off limbs. Okay, well, that's too bad. That's the thing. Until you get to, like, level two or three, you're just so fragile. doesn't matter what you do. Um, ah, that's so frustrating. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do that again. We're going to do the same character. Same exact character. Uh, we'll have to get those quests again. I always feel bad when that happens. Like, I'm I'm still going to, like, publish this video, but it's like, we just got attached to a character for a little bit, and now we're just starting over. All right, now we're starting at Tishru the Sek Tishru E. Ux at the village of... I'm sorry, that's the date. At the village of Dazamor. And now our name is 
Moramoon. Moramoon. Uh, we can immediately unequip this. Um, okay. All right, that is that is a shame. Um, these armchairs talk about the vulgarity of glow whites. All right, let's get this quest. Just get these quests quickly. Let's look at this desecrated statue. Uh, any new information here? Or everything's engraved with the same thing. Okay. Tinker. Okay. Uh, you're the warden? Yes. A boar warden. Uh, Dromad merchants like us less because of you. Dromad merchants don't like you. That's not great. That is not great. Uh, what is this? A shroom. Um, so we start with Dromad Merchants not liking us very much. Do you work here that needs doing? Gimpsira Crab. Uh, are you aware of the Angelic Vase at a Snapjaw Fort? Yes, I will drink from the Angelic Vase as you ask. Um, they want us to make a pilgrimage to do that. Okay. Did we do the water ritual with you? We can't. Can't do the water ritual with you. Why are there luminous horse rooms here? Uh, they just showed up one day, started basking in the shade. The copper defender knows the divinity and the contemplation of the act of procreating. The act of procreating? And you're the elder? Who wear the sensible water ritual? Um, Pudus Templar likes us less now. And villagers of Sazor like us less. Let's learn harvestry. Might as well learn this porridge, even though we don't know what it does yet. And let's get work. We will find a hollowed water skin. Okay. Cool. That's all the quests. Um, I guess I could look around a little. Oh, this, this shrine is not desecrated. But still, no new info. Oh, we can uh, eat the porridge. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you will gain... Wow, a whole lot of heat resistance for 50 turns. That's actually... Potentially very useful. All right. To Red Rock. Red Rock is on the way. Let's do this again. Let's find those stairs. This is definitely not as strong as a start. We didn't get to find, like, a bunch of books that we're going to be able to sell later. Uh, Goat is not hostile right now. Um, yeah, no ruins. And all the armor and stuff that we found. Oh, I see. Um course goes to nothing but um yeah come on get me okay sat mask we can wear on our face yeah because last time we had found studded leather armor Immediately. We had really good armor last time. It was nice. Uh, cloth overalls. Staff. Um, let's go up and heal. Learn our lesson. We want to be as careful as possible. Uh oh. Um, let's go up. All right. Let's dismember. Okay, I think we got a critical hit. We chopped off one of your hind legs, but that doesn't do a lot with a centipede, I doubt. Uh, we did cleave you. That's what that sound was, I think. You're bleeding. Since you're bleeding, let's just back up. Good, you bled out. That was a lot of XP. Um, heal up. Uh, another set mask. All right, let's get that buckler and equip it. We're already almost to level two, so this is... In that sense, it's a stronger start. I'll equip that short bow. Cool. Got 
Come at me. Uh, cleave through our armor. We got cleaved? Oh, we're okay. Where'd, where'd you come from? Oh, we got, we got hurt there. Oh, we're bleeding. Um, all right, we stopped bleeding. Cool. That's, that was a lot of blood that we just splashed in. An engraved buckler. Um, about Supater the first, while traveling alone in the scribe's oligarchy of Caner, Sup Supater had a dream that she was scur scurrying the stars. For the rest of Supater's life, she always kept some journals hidden under her person. Nice. We will equip this. Um, let's look back. I don't want to get too far from the stairs. There are going to be creatures all around. The patch is kind of hanging out there. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'll get close to you. Wow. Never seen this before. This is new, I guess. You swell with the inspiration to name your fur. Sure. Um... I think we name them based on their qualities. Let's try that. Oh, this cool. The stained vest of red rock. Oh, I'd love that. Um, let's make the dark red. And we're level two. Cool. A huge pile of stinking lice infested animal hide. That is awesome. It doesn't make it special or anything, but it does color it, I guess. There's still no hotkey for unload. Uh, let's heal up here. We only got one hit point. Um, let's see. We have a mutation point. Um, we're not going to be using any skill points here. Uh, did any of our abilities go up? I don't think so. Yeah, one hit point. That's pretty that's pretty sad. Our toughness doesn't have any bonuses though. Let's do some auto explore. Ooh. The warrior. Alright, well we're level two now. Not that it we only have one extra hit point, but let's charge you. Ouch. You hit us for four points. Let's dismember you. We missed. I don't like this. Let's run away. Get out of here. All right. Go back down. Um, we can't sprint yet. Let's stay out here until... Let's wait enough time to sprint. It's just... I'm looking at the bottom. The sprint... Okay, now we can sprint again. So now I feel safe coming back in here. Er, do I? Let's wait a tick. Bring him up with us. Dismember again. Ow. All right, well, we dismembered you. We chopped off your arm. We did chop off your arm. So that's the thing. Um, let's back up. Let's uh, column dance until we're healed up. Oh, you died. You bled out. Wonderful. 25 XP. Cool, cool, cool. All right, this is this is going all right. This is going all right. When arrows, a bunch of arrows. Uh, how many arrows do we have? Twenty-four. Okay. Our agility is not that strong, but it's good enough. Let's at least do the first floor of Red Rock, and I think we'll call it an episode at that point. <coughs> Nice. Reinforced black robes. Naming armor. That is cool. Come at me. Charge you. Ha! Uh, okay. All right. That was auto exploring. And we'll walk to the staircase down. And I think we're going to go to that downstairs next episode. Oh, uh, let's eat before I forget. I do. 
Yeah, I guess by the stairs. We'll eat. Okay. Um, this is going better. I think hopefully this character lasts a while. Uh, yeah, so I enjoyed playing with you today, and we'll continue exploring the rest of Red Rock next time. Bye, everybody.